Welcome to the all-time anime list. We're at number 47. 47. I'm still doing these fucking intros. Okay, so. Uh, the next, uh, before I get to this anime, I like to say that the next anime is more obscured and more for adults. But, with that being said, though, um, this anime is New Game. Um, I'm only going through the four main characters. All the other characters are side characters, but I will mention... The three side characters. Four, there are four side characters and four main characters. Okay? Okay. Um, if you want to know the this job description of what they do to make the video game, just watch episode two and you should be on your way. Okay? There are 24 episodes of this anime and it's really fucking good. Okay, okay. The first main character is a person who dresses up like a high school girl and she just graduated from high school. It's proven taken because she can't drink alcohol until she's 20. You thought that, um, you thought 21 was ridiculous as a, in America? It's 20 in Japan for some fucking reason. So pretty much you can drink it when you hit 20, once you're done being a fucking teenager in Japan, apparently. Okay, her friends are the people that work for a video game. Now then, with that being, I'll get to the main plot and what happens. The other three characters, one character is hypergenic and stuff like that. Um, she's pretty much, you know, she works on a different de game development. She works in a different gaming development and stuff like that. So she's more hyperactive, you know, playing with swords, slicing, dicing. She's like a medieval type person. She buys all the equipment like a fucking nerd and stuff. Just like me, you know, with video games and stuff. Okay, okay, that's rule two. Number three. The third character is a classy person. She can't fucking run. Uh, but apparently our main character can't run faster than her, which is fucking hilarious. But she is the best character ever. Um, because she's trying to lose weight, because she hates her weight, but she eats a lot of fucking snacks and cookies and stuff like that. Pretty much, so to speak. The fourth main character has, um, uh, I think she, she has a hedgehog as a pet, I believe, which I think it's adorable, but the hedgehog does not like her, and she has problems talking to people. Um, she is the type of person to, um, uh, you know... If you message her, she's she's more like she will she will not she is hesitant to talk to you in person. Like for example, if you talk to her on her phone and you're right next to her, she'll message you right away, complete and full confidence of what she's texting. If you try to talk to her face to face, she's nervous and she's fucking shy. Okay, okay, that's what her quirks are. Now the four side characters are the person who's the president of the whole company. Um, she's got a twisted mind and the fact that she doesn't do really done shit. Although she does have a big cat, though, and the cat is roaming around the office like no one fucking cares. Then you got the girl who's the main person who makes the fucking video game in the first season. She has the tendency to work too much and she sleeps in the office overnight and when she wakes up, she's got no pants on. Um, what the fuck am I watching? I don't know, but that just proves proves the point of the video game is is worth to her, and she's got her friend. Now her friend, on the other hand, is kind of different stuff like that. They've known each other for a long time. She's awesome. She's cool, uh, but she gets drunk really easily. Um, that being said, that's what happens. Rule four. Um, she's not really into the anime. She's not really into the um, uh, anime thing in the first season, but in the second season, she has more of a character role with the main character's main, f her best friend, who develops her own game by herself, and she wants her to play it, and they cohesively do do it. It's pretty fucking amazing. Now then. Why is it so high on the list? Well, it's pretty obvious because of the fact there's 24 episodes. Um, each ep 12 episodes are one season. The other 12 episodes are the other season. The main plot of the anime is that the main character is trying to help out develop a game of her favorite video game franchise called Fairy something. I forget what, what it's called. 
Fairy Something 3. Um, she creates the characters of the game. Um, not the main characters, but the side characters. Um, the funny thing is, and this is why I like about this anime, is that it teaches you how much work gets put into a fucking video game. I mean, literally, they, t it takes, for making, for letting, if you're just a newbie and you want to create a video game, to make one character, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it takes like a fucking week. And that's if you're a fast fucking learner. If you're not, then it's going to take fucking forever, and you're not going to get the game developed. Okay, okay. You also have deadlines. That's what happens when the anime video game. Now, the first main plot is that they try to figure, they try to help out, make the new game of the new of the series that they love, of the third one. The second season, on the other hand, is the main character makes her own game because they made a poll and she fucking won. Okay, okay. Uh, but she did have some help with uh, her boss, which her boss wanted to be the one who victory. But it was all good, all good. Now then, this anime is also a comedy, so you'll laugh your ass off sometimes because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Um, with that being said, though, why is it so? Why is it on number forty-seven? Well, I think it's because it teaches you how to make a video game, so to speak, and like dumb form. But there's so much technological things. Like, for example, the first thing, she's trying to make a 3D model of a character. And she has to read a big, fat, fucking thick book. And she has to memorize the whole entire fucking book. That I cannot do, because I get too bored of reading a fucking book that's not interesting. Um, also, the fact that she wants to make her own game, and she eventually does, and she's like... Stone, blown away with it and she's like happy go lucky and stuff like that she is awesome and she's awesome okay okay now then why does it not go further on the list well I think it's because there's too much fucking comedy um I mean there's so much comedy I could take but you know it's just that you know it's really ridiculous and the fact that they leave it on the fucking cliffhanger like who fucking does that I mean, the main character, the main character is sad because her boss is leaving to go to another, I think, going to her, something, I forget. And she, then she flies off and then now the characters go their separate ways. Well, no, they're not going their separate ways. They're still working on the new video game. But, like I said before, she's, her boss is one of the main characters and the fact that she's got some issues. Um, why did, why does it beat all the rest of the enemies? Because I think it teaches you how to make it. And the fact that the theme song's good. Um, they do have her moments of when she gets denied and she wants to put into the thing and punch him in the face. She wants to do this, that, and the other thing. The thing with New Game, though, and I like to digress, is that it's only 24 episodes, so you're not, so, you're gonna get your money's worth. But... The only reason why it's not higher on the list is because it's too much fucking comedy. I mean, there's not enough drama, which is kind of sad, really. And it's mostly comedy. Like, for example, she, she's but all four characters. I but you know, but that's the only thing I can can't come up with when it comes to this anime. Because other than that, though, I loved it. Because I'm a video game person. Of course, I'm gonna like it. They're making a fucking video game. Of course. Motherfuckers! But to be honest with you, too much comedy in anime overwhelms the whole entire other genres of anime that they put into it, and that's why I digress. Other than that, though, it's a perfect anime. Uh, but because of that reason, and also the fact that um, there's there's one character that doesn't really get that much character development until season two. And that's her, that's the main character's best friend. But other than that, though, it's a perfect anime. Um, I think it deserves to be on the list. Um, I don't think it deserves to be in the top 30, though, because of the fact that, of those two reasons. I, and I think that the other, even though the next anime's on the list, some of them have more flaws than usual. I think that this anime does not comprehend those flaws of the other animes, to be honest with you. But I highly recommend you watch it if you want to know what the hell, how to make a fucking video game in 3D. Because they, they're, they're, it's 
fucking ridiculous on how the fuck information you need to do how to make these fucking video games and that's why I think you should watch new game. It's a good anime. It's only 24 episodes. I hope you get something this positive day. And spoiler alert, we're going back into the animes with the big boobs next time we go on this list. So, uh, hope you're looking forward to that. No, no you're probably not. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to the pervertedness of anime. But, spoiler alert, um, I'm going to give you a heads up here. Next anime on the list... <laughs> It's not the guys that are perverts, it's the women that are perverts, even though they're not technically women. Um, they're monsters, which we will get to that when we get to that. So, hope you guys have a nice positive. I just kind of gave you a little hint of the next anime on the list. But New Game was a good anime. It's it's class act. It has no sex jokes, which is perfectly fine. Um, I love all of it, except for they do too much of the comedy and that in this and the other thing. So, I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care, and I'm going to wish away my, you know, anime of number 46 next time we're on this list. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care, and stay positive.